Hey everyone, this is TJ Askew and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be checking out the new Amazon Fresh store here in Naperville, Illinois. As far as I know, it's the first one that's outside the state of California. There are a couple others that are planned here in the Chicagoland area, but I'm super excited to take you on a tour. And the marquee feature of the Amazon Fresh store is what's called the Dash Cart. I'll show you all about it in the video, so let's get into it right now. So I took a drive over to my local Amazon Fresh store, which is here in Naperville, Illinois, which is just outside of Chicago. As you can see here, it's just opening now, and it's been open for about a month, so let's go inside. When you walk in, you have two options. You can get a normal cart, because you don't necessarily have to have an Amazon account to shop at this grocery store, but if you do have an Amazon account and you've got a payment method set up, most likely a credit card, you can use your Amazon app. You click Fresh at the top, you press In Store, and using the QR code on your phone, you scan it into what's called the Dash Cart. It logs you in, and as you can see here, it even shows your shopping list if you've made that, whether it's with your Alexa device or with your Amazon app. So let's take a look around. For the most part, it looks like a regular grocery store, but there's tons of cameras and technology in the ceiling. A Little bit creepy if you're not into that stuff, but I think it's pretty cool. The price tags on each of the items on the shelves is actually electronic, so they can change it from the back end, which I think is really awesome. And here's the cool feature. The cart knows when you put something into it and what item it is. So you can see here as I'm taking this Starbucks coffee off the shelf and placing it into my cart, it recognizes that I'm putting it inside. And as you can see on the screen here, it shows the item as well as the price. Now, if there's something that you don't want or you change your mind, once you take it out of the cart, the dash cart will automatically take it off of your bill and you just have to put it back on the shelf. Let's continue walking around and I'll show you some of the different areas and departments that this store has. I think it's pretty cool that they have a few Alexa devices around the store that you can ask for help, where something is, and it even helps you check prices. I didn't even notice it until today's visit, but if you look closely here on the shopping list, it actually shows you what aisle something is in, if it knows. The sensors in the store are just over the top. You can see here that as I walk down this aisle, the lights in the freezers turn on because when no one's in the aisle, I guess the lights turn off to save energy. Pretty awesome. So it's pretty much the same process regardless of what you're putting into or taking out of the cart. But the one thing that is a little different is something like produce, where it doesn't necessarily have a barcode to scan. So all you have to do, as you can see here, I'm getting these potatoes and you can see this code here and that's what you type into the actual screen on the cart. And then what's awesome is it asks you to put it in the cart and the cart weighs the item. Just like a uh, cashier does at the checkout, the cart actually has weight sensing technology. It just asks you to confirm it and then it adds it to your bill. There's a combination of brand name items as well as some uh, Whole Foods and Amazon branded items. Again, if you didn't already know, Amazon owns Whole Foods, so of course it's somewhat connected. But they've got a lot of variety here. Not every single thing that a humongous grocery store would have, but there's a lot to choose from. When you're ready to check out, you just take your cart through the dash cart lane, which is this green area on the way out of the store. And someone usually comes over to help you out just in case, but it asks you to confirm everything on your receipt just to make sure there wasn't something that was overcounted or undercounted. You hit pay and check out, and from there, you're ready to go. You don't have to exchange any money, and what happens is it just charges your card that you had on file with Amazon. It does give you the option to change the payment method if you'd like. 
and then you get a confirmation email and it's also within your orders on your Amazon app. So there you have it. A brief look at what Amazon Fresh is all about. Let me know in the comments below if you've got one coming to your area. It's a really awesome concept and honestly, I think it could be the future of grocery shopping. There are still plenty of workers. In fact, you can see here that they've even got regular checkout lanes, but I think the idea is that one day you could just do your grocery shopping and everything in terms of the payments are digital. And I think that's pretty cool. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. It definitely helps out me and the channel. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And you can even press the little notification bell so you're alerted anytime I post. I'd also love to connect with you over on Instagram, so find me over there if you'd like. And if you're ever in Naperville, Illinois, come check out Amazon Fresh. Or if you're in Woodland Hills, California, I've never been there, but as far as I know, it's only California and Illinois who've got these stores so far. So maybe there's one coming near you. Once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is TJ Eskew, signing off.